Yeah, here we go again with the tyranny of man. The Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has made some promise about outlawing uh, American bulldogs or pit bulls. I can't remember the breed. And frankly, it really doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't matter what breed of dog the Prime Minister is trying to outlaw. So pit bull terriers are not allowed in this country anymore because apparently they're are a vicious breed and they kill people. But, you know, uh, tip of the hat here to people who love guns. It's uh, guns don't people, people do. That's a classic from the 90s. Guns don't people, <laughs> guns don't people. Guns don't kill people, people do. Guns do not kill people, it's true. People kill people and knives do not kill people. There's this obsession in this country with controlling uh, the population from carrying knives in public. It's like it, knives don't kill. It's people that kill. <sighs> Taking knives off people will not stop murder. And people that want to murder will carry knives anyway. It's like a criminals will start behaving if we outlaw knives like oof, i want to kill someone with a knife but the law says i should not carry a knife so maybe i'll leave my knife at home that's not how criminals behave if a criminal wants to create uh, uh, commit a crime he's going to commit a crime that's the essence of criminality they're not thinking about what's legal they're thinking about how can i achieve what i want to achieve by hook or by crook. If I'm going to kill someone, I'm going to carry a knife because I don't care if I get caught because I want to kill. Uh, but this country that is obsessed with outlawing things rather than punishing crime, rather than punishing crime. Think about this. If murder was punished by capital uh, punishment, if murder was punished by execution, do you think people would be deterred from committing murder? I certainly think so. The statistics seem, seem to be on my side. Nowadays, you can kill your children multiple times, like that Mick Philpott chap killed six children and got 12 years, you know, two years for each child that he burnt alive. That, that, there's no disincentive. There's no disincentive to commit murder. And saying you can't carry a knife it won't deter a criminal who wants to kill. But uh, I get sidetracked. Back to Rishi Sunak, who wants to outlaw this breed. Uh, American bull or something, I can't remember. The point is, it doesn't matter what breed of dog it is. It does not matter what breed of dog it is. And frankly, this is tyranny because... It's as if there are only two breeds in this country that kill people. People have been killed by Alsatians. People have been killed by other breeds of dogs. Uh, I mean, uh, a Chihuahua might potentially kill someone if they are uh, disabled enough or aren't able to defend themselves. It, it could happen. It could happen. It's a dog. A Chihuahua might presumably kill a, a baby. I don't know. It could happen. The breed of the dog doesn't matter. The breed of the dog doesn't matter. What they should be punishing, what the government should be punishing, and only punishing, that's the purpose of a government. It's not just to make ridiculous laws. You can't have that, you can't have this, which is where we are now. It's like, a father knows best. We will tell you what you can own and what you can't own, because we know best. Rather than, if, if your dog is out of control, you will face the consequences. If your dog is out of control, you will face the consequences. That's just law. That's biblical law. Uh, you know, in the Bible, if an ox killed another person's ox, he'd, he had the right to take that ox, he had the right to have that ox killed. If an ox killed a person, and it was an accident, the ox would be put down, and the owner of the Ox may be made to pay compensation. But here's the kicker. If the ox 
was known to be violent. You know, it was an ox that had gored another ox before and it had killed some other animals. And the owner knows that it, this ox is violent. And then that ox is out of control and kills another person. Then, then the ox is put down and the owner is also executed because he knew that he had a dangerous animal, but he did not control it. He knew that he had a dangerous animal, but he did not control it. But what do we have in this country? If that happens, you know, the dog may be put down and uh, he may get a slap on the wrist. You know, dogs have mauled people and dogs have killed people and nobody gets, well, I don't know, people barely get sent to jail, even though that dog was dangerous and was known to be dangerous. This is where you end up. Bad laws actually make life difficult for good people. If you're a good person and you're looking after a dangerous breed and you're looking after it well, you can't now. If you're a good person and you're looking after a so-called dangerous breed and you live in Scotland, surrounded by miles and miles of land with no one else in sight, oh, you can't own it because it's a dangerous breed apparently. Even though it is in, no one is in danger of being attacked by the dog in the near vicinity. No one is uh, going to be harmed by by your dangerous breed. But the, no, Rishi Sunak has spoken. Rishi Sunak has spoken. Uh, no one is allowed to own these dogs. No one is allowed to carry a knife in public, even in Scotland, when you're all out by yourself. No, you can't own a knife because knives are illegal. This is tyranny. This is the tyranny of man-made laws. When you abandon God's sanctions, you know, there's so much freedom in God's law. There's so much freedom. You can do so many things. You can do whatever you want. But if you harm someone, God's law actually has just penalties, just penalties, life for life, tooth for tooth, eye for eye. I know modern society shrinks back in horror from such barbarism, some such uh, primitive behavior. But here we are in modern society. Crime keeps going up. Murder keeps going up. Tyranny keeps going up because we hate God's law. And we think as men, we are wiser than God. We can do better than God. We can do better than God's barbaric law. Whereas God's law is actually a freedom uh, giving law. It uh, fosters freedom. It encourages freedom. It, you know, you, there's so much freedom in God's law. You can own knives, guns, dogs, sheep, cattle uh, in this country. <sighs> Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous, the tyranny of, of man's law. And this is typified by Rishi Sunak here saying, I have commissioned uh, some people to look into this. That's my uh, impression of Rishi Sunak. Terrible impression, obviously. Uh, but tyranny often comes dressed up in winsomeness. I'm going to speak like a politician and I'll be all winsome and uh, on TV. But tyranny comes dressed up um, in, in winsomeness. These... People are taking our liberties from us. We can't own dogs. We can't own dogs because the government says so. We can't own certain breeds of dog because the government says so. This is the essence of tyranny. This is the essence of tyranny. And it's no surprise. We are moving away from God's law. Uh, it's no surprise that uh, a Hindu prime minister would behave like this. Bring back Christianity. Bring back Christian common law. Uh, or else the tyranny is going to continue. Very soon we'll have to get all kinds of permission to, well, we won't be even allowed to own dogs uh, the way this is going. What if uh, collies start killing people? Collies will be off the table. There's no such thing as a gentle breed. There's just bad owners. There's just bad owners of dogs and bad owners should be punished. Bad dogs should be put down. Bad owners should be punished. There's no such thing as a bad breed. There's no such thing as a bad breed.